Hello and welcome to Catalon API testing tutorial. So in last tutorial, we have seen how to send a post request and create a task in Asana. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can send the put request and update the same task using the, uh, using the Catalon Studio. So now on my screen, you can see that the GID that we are seeing here is the task GID for the task that we have created. So we'll simply copy it and then we'll go to the documentation. Okay. So let's see how we can update the task. So in the task documentation in the developers.asana.com slash docs documentation, if you type tasks and go to task, we have seen that how to post a task and now once we have posted a task or created a task the next is to update a task which is the put request so we'll click on the put uh, request and you'll see the update task so we'll utilize the put request to update a task and here if you see there are certain parameters that we need to utilize so we need the body uh, parameter and then we need the task GID as well, right? So task GID is required. So whichever task you are going to update. So we'll need the GID for that particular task. So we'll copy the location or the URI and go to the Catalon Studio. And here we'll create a new web service request, provide the copied URL and we'll say update a task right then click ok and now in the update task the first thing we need to do is to change it to a put method and then provide the task GID where is the task GID task GID is from the response that we created the task okay so we created the task and this is the task GID so to copy it and in the task GID section here we'll paste it so we are doing it manual at the moment we won't be doing it manual in future we'll be doing a lot of parameterization and automation just keep following the series to learn all those parameterization and um, externalization data externalization concepts so i have pasted the task gid as of now and the next thing is to uh, update the body parameter so task GID was required and then the body parameter is what is required so we'll copy the body parameter go to the HTTP body go to the section here paste the body parameter okay so we won't be updating each and everything in this particular um, JSON so we'll remove most of the stuff here we'll just leave the name okay and that's pretty much it what we are interested in so we'll just understand how you can trigger the put request and we removed everything else in the data uh, dictionary or the object we just removed the name uh, we just kept the name and we'll say um, updated task name from catalon studio api test okay so we know that this is the name that we are going to update for this particular task. Now we haven't done the authorization for this particular request. So we need to set up the authorization as well. So we'll go to the OAuth2 and I'll paste the token. So let me paste it quickly. So I have pasted the token. I'll click on update to HTTP header. We'll go to the body. We'll cross check it once again. Uh, that comma is not required here. And now Let's change it to JSON. Okay, so that's JSON formatted. And let's save this request and run this put request. So if we run this request now, let's see what's the response. Sending the request. And here you can see that the response status is 200. Okay, what is the elapsed time and the size of the response? Now you can see that this particular task with the GID that we have copied here has been successfully updated with the name of updated task name from Catalon Studio API test. So this should be available on the UI now. If we go to the Chrome and the home page, you can see that updated task name from Catalon Studio API test has been updated, right? And the description is still same because we haven't changed the notes 
in the API. Now, if you want to change the notes as well, the only thing you have to do is you simply change or add the notes parameter here, okay? And simply say, put a comma here and we'll say updated, updated notes, okay? All right, let's rerun it, save the request and rerun it and see that notes are getting updated as well. Right, so notes have been updated, go to the UI and you can see updated notes, right? So similarly, if you want to change the assignee, due date, everything is possible through the API. So if you see here in the body, what all data object that you can use, right? So for example, GID resource type, name, created, uh, assignee, assignee status. So n number of things that you want to use in your API put request, you can add these and form your body parameter to send the put request uh, in the Asana, uh, for the Asana task API. So don't just keep practicing through the name and notes, try to work uh, on this JSON body, try to add the due date or due on, uh, then completed flag, etc. And try to experience or uh, explore it a bit and understand a lot more with the permutation and combination of the body parameter, how you will form the JSON. This will give you a lot more visibility and flexibility in understanding how you are forming your JSON requests and sending the post or put request in Catalone API or Catalone Studio API testing. So hope you like the tutorial. Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.